Hello and welcome back to episode 9 of Minimal Maxing. Today we're going to be focusing on getting our prayer up, uh, continuing our grind on our caches and our dailies, and finishing up the last of the quests that we need. So we're going to start off our day today with our cache. This might be our last cache uh, with T1 only. Uh, at 45, we unlock the ability to do the raw memories and knock down these confused automatons, both of which give us two points instead of one. And there we have it, another 100 point cache. It was solo, we finished it in about seven minutes. And we got about 14,000 experience. So we're level 44. I might actually train Divination to 45 so our next cache is easier. And that way we also get our memory sense. See, it seems to work when we exit cache, we get the strands. Uh, really tough. Basically, how this works, we just got 54 Hunter. And we're very close to 57 fishing. It uses both your bonus experience and your regular experience, but it gives you 60% of a regular land. And there we have it, 45 divination. Pick Care Knowledge instead of Parmi of Naragon. And now we do not get any items from Divine Locations, but we get 25% more experience from them and because we have bonus experience that's essentially 50 percent more the real benefit of this perk is now i do not need to worry about inventory space so when i throw down this bubble i have my main loot permit and we're getting 275 experience per salmon because, oh, I forgot to do one thing, Festivora. Now we're getting 367 per Salmon when they have 70 base experience, because we're getting plus 50% from Festivora, plus 50% from having a full score, double from having bonus experience, and plus 25% from the uh, benefits. So when that all comes together, it ends up being that amount. So we ended our day. We ended up getting 123 fish at about 300-ish each. That is about 40k experience. So at this rate, we're looking at four to five days to unlocking 65 fish. Now we're going to be focusing on getting to 80k short of 75 fire making so that we are able to use torsal sticks on the rest of our training as our next major skill and grind is going to be 95 prayer at 936 experience per log we're looking at just over 300 logs to get 80k short so we just got level 74 and we have about 18,000 experience to go we're going to be starting fire makers curse to get us up to 75 fire making and use the book of char uh-oh, I'm scared. You see, we have one fire lit, so we do 100 each time. But if she gets too close to the fire, she'll just stomp them out. But bleeds are the best thing here, because every time it hits. At this point, I just want to tank it. Hey, there we go. Now we exit. And there we have it. Quest complete. 75 fire making. Almost 72 agility and almost 80 hp there we are and we have the book of char um and if we activate it i'll just if we activate it it essentially allows us to i won't be doing it today might as well just cut a log here if we drop this log and we go unleash now if we run over this log, right. it basically automatically turned it into a fire. So you do that um, over a set of about like 400 logs that you specifically drop and you burn all of them. And you get 
about a thousand experience of tech. So the hydro lamp we're gonna put into dunge and fishing. We should get sixty fishing here. Came home a little bit later than normal, so we're gonna run right into Gethexian Cash and sixteen thousand experience and up to level forty nine. Then sixty one fishing, four levels to go. So we're training prayer now, we just got 61, and we're, our goal is to go all the way up to 95. Uh, just as a heads up, uh, I had to go to the bank to do some things. I had to get more torso sticks, get that 2% increase to stay there. And then the perfect juju prayer potion gives an extra plus 5% XP boost on Gilded Altar, so we're getting nearly 1,000 experience per bone. 68... Prayer and that unlocks our deflect missiles. So it takes about two and two minutes fifteen seconds, or one hundred and thirty-five seconds, to do a full inventory, our bulk inventory. So we end up getting fifty-six bones in that time. So that ends up with us getting about fifteen hundred bones per hour. Which mean it means this brand should take us about eight hours total. And we're up to fifty-one div. And what level do we get? I'm going fifty-three. Fifty-two, oh, four hundred experience away. We have sixty-two fishing. Three levels to go. Back doing some prayer, as we still have our festive aura going. Um, we've unlocked up to deflect missiles, but we still need to get uh, protect from melee and then all the really good prayers that come later. And there we have it, level 70 prayer. Achievement for that. 75 prayer obtained. 24 to go. We're going to take a detour now because cast just opened up. And we can still go for one more 100 point cache today. And I want to make sure we don't miss a cache. There we have it, another cache. And we got to level 54, almost level 55. We got up to 72 agility there with our feathers. 81 prayer. And we just got to 82 prayer. Um, once this inventory is done, we're going to jump off and go to a Cathexian cache, use a daily D&D token to reset, reset so we can do another two caches today, which will get us another couple levels in Divination. Um, I'm really focusing on not missing a cache because the earlier I get to 80, the earlier Invention unlocks, and the earlier Invention unlocks, the earlier I can start Slayer. So I can get Slayer done before Archaeology comes out. So I can focus on that on my main account. Another 100 points, another cash done. And 55, almost 56. And we're back trading prayer um, after finishing the cash. So we're up to 83 prayer now. That was probably our worst cash yet. Um, but we still got it done in time and 23.6k experience and we'll do another hour of prayer Booyah, and we have 5.5 mil experience to go So we're getting about 1.1 mil per hour Nine to prayer These levels are starting to get a little far apart but first 90 on the account, uh, five levels to go. So full disclosure, I just logged on to mobile on my uh, account for the first time ever, which allowed me to um, uh, get 15 keys for free. So I'm going to go ahead, as you see, earn keys are not bought keys. Um, I don't know how else to prove that, but um, as this is a free MTX that every person gets, um, I consider it like just a more advanced daily keys. And the extra rewards we're going to be getting um, on top of this are 
the um, seven days from now, we'll get a double daily keys for seven days. And then 15 days from now, we'll be getting um, 25 keys. So that'll be another time in December. Now we can turn off our hearts of ice usage. For XP based promos, I would suggest doing this. Um, basically it turns off all those and then you unfreeze the XP and prismatic rewards. So for example, you don't get the combat dummies or the energy or like the not very good items, but if it's a purple, you still get it. Um, and then reset it once you're done with that promo. But I was waiting till I got to a high enough level and I'm trying to think. So each one of these is like 10k. You should get not too much. There you go, 600k, that's about what I was expecting. Um, yeah. So we can go back into our house. 92 prayer. We have soul split. Three more levels to go. And 73 agility. Second agility level gain today. 100k to the next level. And this is going to be the last inventory of bones as we get to 95 prayer, which will unlock turmoil and its variants. And we now have. I guess four of the five things we wanted for PVM. Uh, we have 82 attack for Masuda's War Spirit. We have 95 prayer for Soul Split and Turmoil. And we have, well, we're almost at 50 Slayer to go straight to Duradel. We just need to get our invention up to 80. And we also have Overload. So once invention is 80, we can start grinding out Slayer. So we got some phoenix lamps for our daily keys. What phoenix lamps do is they use both bonus experience and regular experience to give you experience. So we're going to use all of these into fishing. Not sure how much this is going to give me. 32,000. And oh yeah, they have a chance of not being used. So we'll add more to fishing. We're up to 64, so we're 39k away from unlocking deep sea fishing. Now that we have 95, right, I'm going to go complete the remainder of the quests we have. Now we talk to the high priest and the, the quest will be done. There we go. We got woo -woo -woo, all that experience. And it's, there's only one quest left that we can do that we need to do, and that is Monkey Madness. And there we have it. Monkey Madness is done. And if we go talk to Dairo up here we'll get our experience i'm gonna pick strength just because it's gonna get me to level 70. Uh, strength and stamina Yeah, 70 strength. Oh, that was the easiest quest ever. <laughs> Took about uh, five seconds to finish. So now we're going to move on to the next quest here, which is going to be the King Akawogi recipe for disaster. There we do it. Another quest complete. 
7,000 cooking, 10,000 agility, two keys. So now we can start Do No Evil. As it's still on the list, once we do that, we need a lot of things, but it's going to be the last quest we do for, I want to say, like six months. So I'll be happy when this is over. Um, I'm going to stop recording now because I'm going to use a video guide. So I'm just going to do some random commentary through there. We're part way through the quest now. I remember how much I hated this quest. <laughs> I think the first time I did this quest, it took me like two and a half hours to do. And I just logged off for the end of the night. Uh, we're currently in the process of walking this chimp ice um, all the way from Narda to here. But I mean, you can take the boats from Port Serum to uh, Hardy. But the rest of it's all walking. And I think the first time I did this, you had to drop the chimp ice every single time. Um, so yeah. That was not fun. You have to drop it, you'd have to cast it. You have to cast it on the, the item, on the ground, then pick it up, then continue walking instead of like... Now I can just go 1, 3, and then keep walking. Anyway, back to the YouTube guide. We're on the final boss fight of this uh, quest. So, it's not too bad. We just have to kill a bunch of lesser demons. And that should basically be the quest. I think we just have dialogue now. They basically say that they like enjoyed their life and um, in Monkey Bad or in Apatol, but they had a, they came back because of Atkin and they felt they needed to. Um, so I'm gonna enjoy not questing, but the problem is now until I start Slayer at 80 div, um, it's only gonna be dailies. So we're gonna talk about monkeys. Oh, I'm talking to Leela instead of Ben Linton. And there we go. We gained like 170,000 experience. Uh, we have the Cramulet and two more keys. So we're switching over to Divine Swordfish Bubble because we're not using up our entire daily cap. So even though Divine Swordfish are worth less per uh, our capacity. We're not using the entire capacity. So here we're getting 500 per collection, but it's costing us two resources. Well, before we were getting 350 per collection, but it was costing us only one resource. So we're, we're losing per resource, but because we're not using up our cap. doesn't matter and there we have it 65 fishing which is a major milestone because it unlocks traveling merchant and the traveling merchant gives basically allows us to get so many different things that we otherwise wouldn't be able to get which is part of the reason why it's been rushed ever since uh, I first had the opportunity to there we go we ended 13,000 experience away from 65 uh, one more thing we're going to do now that it's basically daily scape is we're going to go do the player own farms tutorial. So in this tutorial you just get to skip time. Hey, level 32 farming. There's two bunnies now. So now we're going to buy six chicken eggs. I remember the day that 
uh, Player Owned Farms came out, the uh, nails were like over 5k each. And everyone wanted their nails, and no one was willing to make them themselves. So, hey, we got an agility level 74 agility, and we're gonna buy our five more and five more. Now that we have all these eggs out, we don't really care about breeding, we just want them to grow. Uh, traits don't matter because they take four hours to grow, so by the time I check it in the morning after going to bed, they'll even be old at heart, will be um, all over. So throw these four in here. So now when we come, we'll get 16, when we come back to check this, we'll get 16 times the chicken, and I'm pretty sure each chicken gives like a couple thousand experience. So that's going to do it for today, the end of the episode. We've reached the end of the first phase of this account. So at this stage, we've basically done everything we can up until we start Slayer. Um, so now we're going to be doing a bunch of dailies, primarily uh, Divine Fishing bu Bubbles, Gethaxian Caches, our daily keys, any good daily challenges that we get in order to help our account progress, but we're mainly uh, just going to be doing dailies until we get to 80 divination. So the, ne the next episode is probably just going to be a super cut of me doing that long grind instead of having 50 straight clips of me doing caches. Um, just might jump cut them together. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode and look forward to continuing this account with you guys.